Unlike many others with Lyme disease, um, I was diagnosed with Lyme almost uh, almost immediately upon seeing the doctors. Unfortunately, it just took about two months to get there. I contracted Lyme when I was 13 years old. The first symptom was a very painful swelling in my wrist and it moved to my elbow, my shoulder, and finally down to my knees. And that's when I just completely lost all function on the left side of my body. The day was December 23rd, 1995. I woke up in extreme amount of pain, so much that I couldn't even cry for help. It was just that much pain. I was carried to a family doctor who didn't, who thankfully didn't exclude Lyme from his list of possible causes of my situation. But that was the only lucky break I got. After a short regimen of antibiotics, they said, you're cured. There's nothing wrong with you completely ignoring that I was still in pain. I still had trouble with mobility. I still have trouble with a lot of things. What does my line look like? Nothing. If I just stay still, no one thought anything was wrong with me. Any speech issues I have, they just thought, no, that's just your accent. Okay. But that's also because I've gotten so used to wearing the mask of everything's okay, everything's fine, I'm doing okay. Because nobody wanted to hear about how I was in pain, how I was not okay. But if I was to be honest, if I was, if I was to be honest, I'm in so much pain. I am in so much pain. Constantly. Constantly. It just never, ever ends. It hurts to talk. It hurts to breathe. It hurts to think. It hurts just to have clothing touch my skin. Everything hurts. And I just want, I just, I just want it to stop. I just want this pain to stop. It, the pain is so overwhelming that it feels like it's the only thing in this body that it was so filled with pain there's no room for any other emotions in there I was just it was just nothing I've hit rock bottom so many times that it feels like that's where I belong I've been called lazy, good for nothing. I was such, I was a waste. I was, I couldn't even be called human. I would have no right to be human because I was just a good for, I was just lazy. I was just a freak. I was just a waste. And I believe them because when you're in your 20s, you're supposed to be out there. You're supposed to be learning to be independent, self-sufficient, living your life. This is supposed to be the best time of your life. And I was always in my room. I couldn't stand to walk. I couldn't stand to move. I, it took around five years 
to relearn how to walk after the last major relapse. I watch my friends moving on their lives, thriving, doing things that I always wish I could do, but I just physically couldn't, and no one would believe me why. I felt like my life had no other meaning than to be in pain and to suffer. I wanted release from this pain so badly. I desperately, desperately wish it would just stop. And if death was the only means to the end, then that's what I want. I wanted death because I just couldn't take it anymore. I c- for a while, even my eyesight was ex- was affected, so I would sit in my room. I couldn't move. I couldn't see. There was nobody around, so I couldn't. L- I couldn't hear anything. It was just me, stuck in my own head, replaying the words people tell me. I was compared to Gollum from Lord of the Rings because that's what they thought I was. I was crazy. I was not making any sense. I was lazy. I was wasting away. My greatest wish in regards to lying, I wish no one else had to go through what I did, went through. I wish no one else have to would have to feel what I felt. No one else should have to lose their life, lose over this illness like I have, because even now, I feel, I wonder if I'm actually living at all, or I'm just existing. There was just pain and nothing else. But I continue to exist. I haven't given up yet. I've just started the last semester to my Master's of Social Work program. And I aim to put that degree to use, one way or the other. I would like to tell the world. I would like to tell all the people that told me that I was wrong, that I was crazy, that this illness does exist and it's debilitating I also want to tell the world give us a chance help us aid us let us recover from this because a lot of us can go on to achieve more